So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Bharati Seth for scoring a very good rank of rank number 13 in MCH uh, OBG group and for super speciality from OBG in MCH. And we wishing her all the best and all the success and congratulations also. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Great. Doctor, can we know about your brief background from where you started till date? Sir, um, I've done my uh, UG and PG in MS Forbes Gaini. Both I have done from Lady Hardy Medical College. I uh, gave my professional exam of post-graduation in 2022. And then I was doing a SARship at Hindura Hospital in Delhi. Okay, great doctor. And uh, what motivated you to do an MCH in uh, OBG? Sir, I was always uh, inclined from my PG days only. I was inclined towards uh, gynae onco cases. I was very interested in the cases. We did not have a separate onco like a department or a unit, but I was uh, interested in the onco cases. We had tumor clinics every month and integrated tumor clinics. So I was very interested. From that time only, I, I decided that I would do MCH gynae onco, but I was not sure that whether to prepare immediately or not. So um, I decided after my PG to do a SARship of one year and then after um, after one year a SARship, I gave the exams. Very good, doctor. Can you tell us how did you prepare to achieve this wonderful rank, your preparation strategies and how time allocated yes, for that? Sir, yeah. actually, I came to know about this app uh, six months into my SARship from my friends who had given the exam last year uh, successfully using this app using the guidance of the Speed Institute faculty. So I took the subscription in uh, by the end of January this year. And I started watching the videos and preparing notes starting from 2021 videos. I watched all the videos starting from the 2021, 2022. Okay. And then uh, I, so I made the notes and kept on adding uh, from the videos. And side by side, I was also studying the standard textbooks uh, during my SRship. Uh, sir, then uh, three months before uh, the exam, I had my notes ready. So I, uh, my target was to read and revise the notes four to five times before the exam. The advantage of 20 days was uh, like one more additional revision was uh, possible for me because of the additional 20 days. So uh, in the last three months, I studied for uh, seven to eight hours a day. Uh, I revised all the notes for four times and I tried to give as much as grand test as possible. So I gave almost all the grand tests and uh, along with that on the ongoing classes revision series by Revati ma'am was I was also attending those sir. Very nice doctor you have done 21 session, 22 session, 23 session. How is it possible to complete all that? How did you do it? It's a very tremendous job. Sir, before going, sir, yes, sir, uh, with SRship I did. So even before going to the hospital, I used to wake up early in the morning to complete at least one topic in the morning and make the notes and then go to the hospital. And even in the hospital, whenever I used to get time, I used to like, just watch the videos. So, Doctor, what is your interest? Is it Gynaconco or? Uh, Gynaconco. Gynaconco. Yes. So, uh, then I think you have done already a gynaconco uh, course before you are joining only, I believe so. <laughs> you have gone through an extensive course material. We know because what. Because I was interested. So actually, sir, I, um, I, the guidelines, I studied it thoroughly during my PG days only. So all the guidelines, I was very thorough. The onco guidelines, I was very thorough. So for my PG days only, sir. Very nice doctor. Now, uh, can you tell us how many questions did you attend? I attempted 147. Oh, very good number. Maximum number. I had decided uh, that I would attempt since I had thoroughly prepared. So I had decided that I would attempt 145 at least questions. And then I heard, I, I actually used to go back to your, uh, uh, your lectures uh, that uh, the starting of the preparation one month before the exam, one week before the exam, one day before. <laughs> so I, I followed all of your sir, advices. So when I heard that you said, if you have prepared thoroughly, you must attempt 145 plus questions. I was determined and I was strengthened that my decision is right. <laughs> so. Very nice, doctor. Doctor, what is the message that you want to give to the future aspirants of MCA Superficiality from OBG Group? 
sir uh, i would advise them that uh, prepare thoroughly during for your professional exams also work hard during your pg days and prepare thoroughly for your professional exams that only would help you to get a decent rank but uh, if you want to get a very good rank like in top 10 or top 20 you need a proper guidance which was provided to me by the esteemed faculty of speed institute sir and especially you sir and revithi ma'am sir i would like to thank you like immensely <laughs> sir because i used to follow all your advices and it really uh, guided me in a proper direction like how to go about the one week before exam the one month before exam when due to the intense preparation one can get overwhelmed but looking following your advices was very very helpful sir great doctor thanks for a wonderful words and yes. faculty will also be very happy in looking at the video and uh, nice of you very nice of you and also time to thank whom all you want to thank who helped you to reach the career today where you where you are we can use this platform to thank all of them so well, i would like to first of all thank my parents obviously because they have supported in me in uh, like everything all of all of my decisions they have supported me never doubted me they told me that you can do anything if you are working hard just work hard and don't think about the result it will come to you if you are working hard then my friends my brother my teachers of lady harding who helped me lay the foundation for this journey and sir obviously the uh, all the obs gyni faculty of speed institute and sir special thanks to you sir and uh, sir revithi ma'am also special thank you thank you thank you very much doctor for, for your uh, kind words and also your time also and uh, i've been with us so much, right now in the interview and also once again we wish you all the best and all the success for a great career in mch gynec oncology and uh, i mean the kind of dedication that have the minute you said i have gone through 21st 22nd and 23rd content of resources that is a very very hercules and tremendous job that means if you have and you have done it and the kind of knowledge you would have acquired i could we could understand how much you would have been uh, into that so definitely so all thank you to uh, all the entire faculty and so thank you so much the kind of dedication that uh, you had for this is amazing and uh, that could have given you a very 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 strong knowledge and a theory base uh, behind you and now you on all our operative skills and clinical skills from now on for 3 years is going to be really amazing on your career for that our advanced wishes and congratulations best wishes thank you, thank you so much sir thank you